What's up, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net and we are once again inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and this is lesson number five. And what we're gonna be doing in this one that's different from lesson number four is that lesson number four, we inserted data into an access database. And this lesson, we're going to be inserting data into a SQL Server database. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Let's uh, file, new website. And we're going to choose an empty website and we're going to leave that as its default and then once the page opens we're going to choose new file and we're going to have it as a web form click add okay and once it loads come down here and click on split and let's go ahead and add in our button which is right here and now let's add in our ul list and label and let's go ahead and copy this twice we want to put a uh, username and password Let's come over here and type an in input type equals text name equals username and let's end it come to over here and let's change text to password and once again we're going to change the name to password as well okay and now the next thing that we want to do here is that we want to go ahead and double click on our button and then inside of this page is where we're going to put in all of our information about our database uh, well our insertion into our database so the first thing we're going to do is create a dim string username as string equals request dot form username and let's come down copy paste pw and change this to password and now let's jump down to here and type in dim obj connection as oledb connection and Huh. It didn't oh it didn't highlight itself. Equals nothing. So then we come down here and let's go ahead and add in our goodies up top. And we need to imports system imports system dot data and then imports system dot data dot sequel whoop hold on hold on hold on O L E D B and let's come down and let's do imports system dot data dot sequel client. Okay the SQL client is gonna be since we're gonna be dealing with our SQL Server database that's what we need that there for. And so let's go ahead and go down, choose dim, obg, cmd, as, oledb, c-o-m-m-a-n-d, equals nothing. Okay, the next one is going to be string connection as string. And let's go down and we're going to do string sequel as string okay let's go down here and now we want to do our connection string to our database and so it's going to be string connection equals and provider try that again P R O V V I D E R provider equals sql O L E D B and comma data source 
equals. Keep on missing my equal button there. And we're going to name this, or the name of our server is Cars Crisis backslash, and our instance name is Cars2005 semicolon database equals my temp db and then our user id is going to be sql tester and then our password is going to be temp pass okay so nobody tried to break into my system here obj connection equals new ole db connection and that's going to be string connection okay now let's go down and do obj connection equals oops sorry back up dot connection string equals string connection okay now obj connection dot open okay so what we've got here so far is that we are uh, doing a request out form to grab a hold of our username and our password we're creating our uh, db connection and then uh, we're uh, creating the command for our obj command and then we're creating our string for our string connection to be used down here and there and then we're creating the string sql to be used down here then we're coming over here to our string connection and we have uh, created our database connection to our SQL Server instance of Cars 2005 with a database name of MyTempDB with a user ID of SQL Tester password TempPass. And next, let's jump down to String SQL and let's go ahead and insert into user td values and we're going to do username and password and question comma question then we come down and we do obj cmd and this is going to be oops equals new ole db comm command and this is going to be our string sql and our obj connection so next we're going to jump down and we're going to do obj cmd dot parameters dot add next we're going to do new system dot data dot ole db dot ole db parameters okay next we are going to do comma at username comma string un to make it easy we're just going to copy and paste this and change to password and pw so now we come down to obj cmd dot execute non query and then we close our connection right here so it will be obj con connection dot close and then response dot 
right. Whoops. And this is going to be entered. Uh, let's put a capital A N T E entered successfully. Okay. Let's go ahead and save that. So now that we've got all this information done here, we need to jump into our database. So let's go ahead and come over here into our database. This is my temp DB. And we are going to go ahead and create a new table. And this is going to be called UID integer. And we got to come down here and set our identifier to yes. This is to make it to where it is unique records. Come here, username, oops, var character, and we're gonna change this to 25. Password, var character, 25. And now we're gonna save this as user TD and now that is done so we can go ahead and up oh, one more thing right click on our ID and set as primary key and save it once again then we can bring that down come here save go to debug and start debugging click OK Close out of that. Okay. I ain't concerned about that, so let's go ahead and type in, uh, let's do username and password. Click button, enter successfully. And so that was nice, everything did it in one go. We come over here, right click, open our table, and we have our single record right here. We can actually go in and create another record. So let's do username2 with a password of password2. Entered it, and there we go. So, to do a rundown, we created our form. And then we added in our username and our password, uh, SQL, I mean, dot net, automatically the code behind, the code file or code behind is our default dot ASPX dot VB because we're doing VB script instead of C script. So that comes into here. So everything that is processed through this area right here has to be listed at the top of our ASP.NET page. If it's not listed at the top of our ASP.NET page, then it will not work. And so with it being right here, it will run this script. And we've got, in order to be able to use our SQL and our database connections, we've got to import system, system data, system data OLEDB, and system data SQL client. And so, uh, that's pretty much basically it and that will conclude lesson five with our SQL server uh, insertion so the next one is going to be um, we're going to jump over to uh, uh, lesson number six and it's going to be uh, reading records from access database lesson number seven will be reading records from SQL server database all right well Wayne Barron darkfakes.net inside of Visual Studio 2010 for SQL Server and .NET VB.NET. Y'all have a rocking weekend. Bye-bye.